What up, y'all? It's Tobias again from Nomadic Elevation Group. Hope everybody's having a pretty good day. I uh, just wanted to come on and uh, let you know that we're going to be doing a series on the 1099A. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and then we'll go over some of the instructions. And I'll kind of show you what I'm getting at when I say that's um, not the way to do it. So you guys don't hit any pitfalls or anything. Hopefully you haven't paid for any packages or anything from anybody because you probably uh, lost your money. I almost guarantee it. And uh, if something does go through, what's going to happen is it's going to look very good in the beginning, and then they're going to reverse it. Now, if you know what to do during that time, you can make something happen. But I just think it's a lot more trouble than it's worth rather than um, just focus it on your credit. Because nine times out of ten, that's really what it is. And it is some work to get your credit and everything done. But the amount of time and money that you're going to spend on doing the 1099A process, what they're calling it now, which is really the secure party creditor process mixed with the 1099 OID. That's really what it is. It's the, they just repackaged it and flipped it. Uh, I've been kind of looking around at some of the stuff. Nobody has proof. The people that are teaching you don't have proof. Um, so it's, it's, it comes around every 10 years like clockwork. So I hope you guys are vigilant and paying attention to it. But I think I'm going to sit down and go through the process with you guys. Save you guys some money if you do want to try it. I wouldn't suggest doing it at all. But at least I can break down why I'm telling you that um, it didn't work. Um, I have got it to work for myself, but it's not. They've changed everything and it's not working anymore. And had I known what I know now, I wouldn't even have messed with it. And that's just being honest. Um, and then uh, one more update, just a real quick thing. And I'll try and put the article down below here uh, in the description. There is uh, a warning from the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund. Um, look them up if you don't know what that is, but they're basically saying we're going into a global recession. So like I said on the last couple of videos, um, you're about to see the world go through a recession. It's going to be a lot bigger than 2008. We're already having problems with the supply chain from COVID and this uh, war with uh, Putin in Russia and Ukraine. And it's just, it's going to be real messy, y'all. So time is short on getting uh getting something done so no matter what you're doing if you're going to do something i would get off the fence now before everything crashes and you can't move and the banks are not giving out credit and loans and lines of credit anymore i know the interest rates may be high but if your credit is good you can always get a lower rate later on um, on your mortgage or um, if you're doing like uh, lines of credit and stuff like that, you can always refinance that into a better deal later, as well as your credit cards. Uh, you can always do that, too, because uh, your credit card interest rate is also based off of the, the Fed rate. So as that goes up, your periodic interest will go up, too, on your cards. So that's something to look for is making sure that you're, you're in uh, good uh, programs on your credit cards, you know, preferably 0% interest. Maybe you can run a balance transfer to a card like that and pay things down. But there's a couple of tips and tricks that um, I teach my clients on how to limit the amount of interest they're, they're paying, as well as pay your house off early if you got a house or a mortgage. Um, but I definitely would take a look at, if you're on the fence about doing anything as far as even fixing your own credit, which at this point, unless you actually are one of these people who get things quick and you study, it will be worth the money to pay somebody. I mean, even just getting something set up um, for your trust and everything, it's a small amount of money to pay for the, the capital you're going to have access to. I'm talking about getting your personal and your business credit funded, you know, over $100,000. What's, you know, a couple of grand to get everything set up quick and uh, get some sort of strategy from someone who's been through it and knows what they're doing so they can skip you over skip you over the line there um I'm trying to think is there anything else i wanted to come on and talk about but that's pretty much it uh, i'm gonna try and leave that article in the in the description for you guys and remember to uh hit the like button and subscribe that that helps the information get out uh, and that's pretty much all that i have just be looking out for that 1099 uh a video i gotta go back through my old documents and uh break down the process for you guys so 
Hope everybody has a good day. Just wanted to come in and uh, thank everybody that's been calling and and uh, talking with me. It's been a pleasure. And all the people that signed up. Hope to see uh, you guys prosper in the future. So uh, I'm excited to be able to offer this stuff to you and hopefully uh, get you guys going in the right direction before everything falls. And then we can go make some real money. All right. You guys have a good one.